All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Uh, my name is James, and um, once again today, I am I am giving a second piece of evidence to the fact that I do have friends, and I actually talk to girls. So today, um, I'm once again doing a collaboration. I am joined by uh, La Death Machine. How are you doing, Mai? I'm doing good. How are you, James? I'm doing very well. So today we're gonna to be watching um, Grave of Fireflies, which I have not seen. You have seen this, but mm -hmm. you said it was like it was like one of your favorite Ghibli movies of all time. One of my all time favorites. Okay, so that's awesome. I was super excited. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun collaboration. Um, you have a ton of different anime content. La Death Machine on on your channel. She's you know a million times better looking than me. <laughs> she's got makeup tutorials, no! cosplays. <laughs> Um, she's coming back to YouTube. You took a little bit of a break, but you have a bunch of stuff coming up in the next month or so. Um, so that's going to be super cool. So go check out her channel. I'm going to link that in the description. Go check out her Instagram, all that kind of stuff. If you like cosplays, anything like that, definitely worth checking out. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, 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 I guess give me a little bit of background, but right before we get into it, as far as like your taste in anime, your thoughts on how much you love, you know, from weeb to waifu levels. <laughs> um, so... With me, my taste in anime fluctuates because, for whatever reason, I thought it'd be a good idea as a middle schooler to watch Berserk. Berserk is not... <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, in okay. middle school. And, uh, I don't know, I've always liked, um, like, historical or dramas or, like, uh, shonen anime, like, just, like, the action anime. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I love the aesthetic of Sailor Moon, I've, I've never watched Sailor Moon. <laughs> Don't come for me okay. for that. Um, well, I haven't watched anything, so don't worry. <laughs> that's good. Then. I heard it's wonderful. I just haven't gotten the time to. But, um, yeah, my taste is mostly, uh, like, action, horror, uh, drama, that sort of thing. And I do consider right. myself, like, a filthy degenerate. And so, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe between the uwu hoodie and the pink room and the anime plushies. I don't know. I'm a little bit <laughs> into anime, I guess. Do not mind the casual body pillow in the background. It's... It's it's not. <laughs> it's it's part of the anime starter pack. It's, it's part of the starter pack. When you watch your first anime, one just appears in your room. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm a total noob, which is actually gonna make this kind of fun because obviously you've seen this movie and it's like one of your favorites. But also it's like, I I come from animation. I I like animation. I kind of know the technicals of that more. But I don't I don't watch a lot of anime. To be honest, I'm not even a huge fan of the whole like you know sexy anime like I, I'm the the least anime anime fan of all time I'm like oh I come from the western end of things so it's really fun to explore different stuff like this um I I got hooked kind of by Attack on Titan which is like the thing that hooks everybody so I'm dying because this Sunday the new season's coming out and this is gonna be great um so yeah Grave of Fireflies I've never seen it there's a lot of Ghibli movies I haven't seen I'm very 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 excited about this one um I'm excited to be joined by La Death Machine like I said go check out all of her stuff um in the description down below give her tons of love and support and um, yeah, as always, full length reaction of this uh, reaction is going to be up on our pa my Patreon, as well as a bunch of all the other stuff content we got going on. We got Demon Slayer, we got Attack on Titan, the new season coming up, um, and we have a competition going on, which is deciding the next anime that I'm going to watch. So lots of fun stuff to go check out. If you're new here, welcome. Um, as always, there's going to be a free link in the description to the actual reaction because the anime copyright gods are brutal. Oh, yeah. um, and then you guys can come back here to hear uh, our thoughts, theories, reviews, you know, about the whole movie. And yeah, let's just get into Grave of Fireflies. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, welcome to the following the reaction of Grave of Fireflies. We are watching this on animesuge.to. Um, feel free to watch along with your own copy. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick countdown here. It's brutal, I'm telling you. This movie does not hold its punches whatsoever. I mean, that was incredible. Like, mm -hmm. like, that was incredible. I like, um, I didn't know about this till recently, actually. Because I, I heard about Grave of Fireflies. Like, it's mm. just one of those Ghibli animations you hear about all the time. Yeah. But I didn't know um, it was real till really recently. Mm. And then watching it now, um, this might be one of my favorites. Because Ghibli, Ghibli... I honestly think, like, destroys Disney with their, like, whimsical kid oh, yeah. movies. Like, it's, it's just so well done, right? Absolutely. And they have these really complex friendships that are, like, kind of romances, but, like, really mature. And it's not just, like, oh, she falls madly and anything like that. It doesn't feel like cliched. No, but then them taking that kind of nuance that, that I, you normally see with kind of, like, these fantastical, whimsical uh, plots and seeing that, like, applied to this just horror is so awesome because it, it just gives this like 
it's not like disgusting or like graphic. You know how some like war movies are like, oh, let's show like the bodies like. Oh yeah, like here, like saw. Like I think a lot of slasher films do that. Yeah. Or even just like it's shown in anime where it's like, mm-hmm. oh, it's really brutal. Like Attack on Titan can be brutal. Oh yeah, but absolutely. This it was yeah. it was like, it was like eerie. Or something like there was just this kind of like sad overtone of everything, even in the like happiness. I think there's like an and undertone of like grief beneath literally yes. everything. Yeah. Yeah, and I really like that. I like mm. that. It, it was such just a fascinating thing, and I liked that it didn't. It didn't really even take sides or anything. I wasn't sure. You know, I was like, mm. oh, maybe is it gonna be like, oh, you know, like this is how the Japanese thought it was. Yeah, it wasn't like I propaganda ish. Like, <clears throat> no, I feel like anybody from any country in any war whether they were right or wrong, can watch this movie and understand because mm. it's not about the fighting and who's right and who's wrong or the governments or, or this kind of like bigger picture. It's about like just the horror of it. Mm. And it's like these are just two regular people and their regular family and it doesn't matter whether, you know, they were on the good side or not. It's like they suffered just like any every, like every other human does in war. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. It's like I remember I watched I watched this a couple of years back with my parents because um, yeah. we were like on a on a, uh, a Ghibli kick and they're like we watched Howl's Moving Castle we watched Nausicaa we watched all the movies but they've never seen yeah, yeah, Grave yeah. of the Fireflies and like yeah. uh, they actually had a bit of a hard time watching it because you know they did leave Vietnam during wartime and it's like there's several like overlaps there and so like yeah. um, distinctly like uh, when the um, like the bombers would fly over and like a uh, napalm strike or whatever they're doing to the towns. It's like my mom said that uh, growing up, she left uh, Vietnam in her twenties. But when she's a teenager, during when the war was starting to kick off, like people were advised yeah. to sleep under their beds just in case. So like if they can't yeah. get out and find a shelter in time, they can at least have their bed for cover and stuff like that. And so like this yeah. is very much rooted in reality. Like this stuff. Like I don't know if the story of uh, Seta and Setsuko are like historical accounts but this experience is widely shared amongst people who have experienced uh, such things yeah and i feel like on every side too which which is really cool like i, I think even as a soldier you could watch this and understand oh, yeah, it. like yeah like it's just so well done it's it's such a cool way of doing everything um and even with like i i, I like it it it's not really quite black and white morally either, which is really interesting. Like, I don't know, like, well, I don't know what you think about this, but I think it's really fascinating that, like, um, I think it is a little bit, you know, his fault, maybe, mm. that his sister died. And I'm not saying that, you know, it, it's it's not like, it's not the same as, like, oh, you murdered her. But it is kind of like, you know, he wanted to go out on his own, and, and he was being a little prideful, and it's like, she did suffer because of that and maybe he didn't really understand the consequence but it's this really like it's horrible because it feels so real because it's not it's not quite clear it's like i think i would word i agree it's like i think i would word it as like he definitely made the wrong choice and he did the the wrong thing however he's not an evil person because of it no and he was trying to do he was trying his best to do what he thought was the right thing but unfortunately him being so young and experienced and prideful and even up until he until they announced that japan uh uh surrendered he had that nationalistic pride as well like it's like i can muscle through this because it's what us japanese do you know and so i think that once that was over he kind of just like lost his spark yeah which i wonder if if um, there's some some greater now. This is maybe I'm I'm over over philosophizing, mm. but I wonder what like like if there's a greater message as far as Japan in the war, mm. right? Because that does very much parallel, like what happened in Japan, which is like, it, I mean, look, I don't know a ton, uh, so so obviously comments correct me if I'm wrong here, but like especially towards the end of the war, there was a lot of that like horrible kind of like you know japan was refusing to surrender and then you know the allies were doing things and you have hiroshima and nagasaki which were horrible but then at the same time you know people on the other side will be like yeah but they never would have surrendered if it wasn't for that that like horror that moment of realization which very much to me reminds me of what happens with him Mm. where it's like he is trying to he has that nationalistic pride and he's like look no no no, we're gonna do what's right we're gonna fight through this and then it's like it, it by the time he realizes maybe that he did make the wrong decision or maybe he you know he's being uh maybe a little bit flawed in the way like his pride is misplaced Mm. it's like it's it's too late right it's like his sister's already dead Mm, absolutely and and now he's suffered that and it's like well what do you do what do you do now right like you already you've made those choices and you were wrong and and now 
like things have happened because of that. Mm, absolutely. It's like I remember I watched like a someone else、uh, was walking through like、um, like the notes that the directors left behind for this film, as well as like him just fully reacting to it. And like a lot、yeah. of it is like、um, like I think I could be correct me if I'm wrong, but like I think there is some level of like. Uh, the creators,、uh, the people who made this movie, critiquing to a certain degree a Jap- the at the time nation-、uh, the Japanese nationalistic pride, especially that that earlier scene when they're like I think in the first like fifteen twenty minutes when there's people in the foreground cowering as like their homes are burning down around them and there's a soldier、yeah. in the background shouting like uh, like uh, long live the empire yeah something like that and how there's a juxtaposition、yeah. there's a disconnect between the people who are Not blinded, but led by that nationalistic pride versus people who are just、yeah. caught in the middle of it. Well, even really with the ants, right? Like the ant was almost angry at them、mm. for、um, for finding joy in this, right? Because like her whole family, like they were all deeply involved in you know the the war movement, and they were I, they didn't specify, but you get that impression, right?、Mm. It's like oh, they're either in the factory or whatever, doing stuff towards the war movement, and he and his sister aren't. And you even see a few moments where she's like. She's like angry at them for being happy because、mm. she's like, no, no, it's wartime. Like we have to be. This is wartime. There are bad things happening. Yeah. Whereas normally you'd be like, oh, that that's like you're finding joy in the little things.、Mm. And then even right when they're leaving, you know, he's like, oh, we're gonna go off and build our own home. And she she's very somber and sad. And you see this kind of like look of confusion、mm. when she sees the sister just go off and she's just giggling, because. Because they're they're able to find this sort of、uh, like happiness even in, and I think it's almost because she's a kid because she's innocent she has no reference of of the bigger picture she's able to find this like really pure enjoyment in like oh we're we're making a new house and it's like yeah because you have no house because it got burned to the ground and your parents but, are literally but she dead. doesn't understand that <laughs> yeah yeah but she doesn't understand that and so I, I just thought that was a fascinating and I think. It, it, you see two extremes because at the same time they went to that extreme and it's like yeah well she died because of that、mm-hmm. to a certain extent、um, so it's like you see these two extremes of like oh one side where it's like it's all about the war and the movement and like we all have to be sad and we all have to do something and then on the other end it's like you know just because he wants to take care of his sister and give her a little bit of happiness like should he be punished to this degree for that、mm-hmm. and it's like oh I don't know I, it raises some interesting questions. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, well, that was really awesome. Oh yeah, isn't、um, that great? And plus, like, just in terms of animation quality, Studio Ghibli knocks out again. They never fail to please. Oh yeah, like like ta- I you gotta, <laughs> just Studio Ghibli is the best. They really are. But I I think like I said, I I actually like kind of more serious dramatic stuff,、mm. and so I really I really enjoyed seeing that kind of surreal、uh, Ghibli, which is usually like this like you know whimsical beauty,、mm. kind of repurposed in this like really dramatic. Like I don't know if there's other dramatic Ghibli movies,、um, but I really want to watch them if there is, because <laughs>、um, I really liked this like take. I don't think I think, to my opinion, Grave of the Fireflies is as dark as Studio Ghibli gets, but I think、okay. like a good close second is maybe、um, Nausicaa is pretty close. It's a little more serious.、Okay. It's still like very whimsical,、okay. but like there's still、sure. like elements of like wartime and that sort of thing. Like. I think Studio Ghibli also has a record of being very anti-violence, anti-war.、Um, yeah. And so, like, I, th- I just think that this is one of their films that does exactly that. Like, it doesn't say anything about what war is. It just it demonstrates what it looks like for for those who are caught yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I actually like so like I would even disagree. It's not straight anti-war, which is why I really like this film because it takes this nuanced approach of it's like, look, we're not even saying. That this war was bad, or Japan was right, or America was right, or anything. It's just like it's just horrible, and、mm. war is horrible. And and I like that they just are like, war is horrible, and there are people who get caught in the middle,、mm. who horrible things happen to, and that's、mm. the bottom line. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think that's cool, where where it's like they don't take a moral stance on it. It's almost just like, you know, war war is this horrible thing, and it affects people on every side and in every point of life, whether、mm. you're a soldier or a politician or just like somebody on the ground.、Mm. Okay, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's like um. There's another、uh, like a World War II like、uh, Japanese POV、uh, film that I think you、mm-hmm. would like,、uh, Barefoot、okay. Gen, Barefoot Gen. Okay. One of those two. It's not by Studio Ghibli, it's by another studio, but it's、okay. s- very. It's there's a lot of overlap there, but it's fundamentally、yeah. still a little bit different. But I think you'd enjoy that too. 
but no. Well, I mean, look, I had a lot of fun watching this with you, so obviously, you know, maybe we have to do this again. Depends on what everybody thinks in the comments there, but I, I would, like, definitely love to watch mm. another job, especially with you, Mai, so that, that would be awesome. Absolutely, you're a delight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank, thanks for coming on. Mm -hmm. um, like I said before, guys, please go check out uh, La Death Machine. I'm going to link it all below. You check out Mai's content. She's got tons of cosplay. Like I said, you're, you're coming back this month, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this is your glorious return. Um, so go check out all her stuff. Give it all love. Just go like it, subscribe, do everything. Even if you don't care about makeup or anything, it's like, dude, she's a sweet lady. Turn <laughs> on the video in the background. Do some laundry. Just, give it a I'm like. A give it that engagement. Go for it. <laughs> Be, I, I'm just, I'm just a goblin wearing pink. That's all there is to it. Do you see this? Oh, see this nonsense on. behind me. See this? Degeneracy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't believe. It. <laughs> So, um, go check out all of her stuff. Thank you for, for coming on and, and joining me for this, this sob fest. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the movie. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and yeah, like I said, in the, let us know in the comments, you know, if you want us to do this again, maybe we could definitely, definitely make that happen. I think we both kind of enjoyed ourselves. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, the full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. If you don't check uh, out his Patreon, reasonable. I will find you. <laughs> That's where the goblin really comes <laughs> If you don't check out the Patreon. <laughs> um, so that would be awesome if you guys want to support us. And then, you know, we got some other stuff coming. We're just kind of doing a few movies here to stall while the competition for our next anime series is going on. But uh, tons of new stuff coming. Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Haikyuu, and whatever series you guys decide. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Like, subscribe, and we will see you all in the next video.